How do you design a viral app? My name is Blake Anderson. In one year, I built three viral apps that have each generated millions in profit. Riz GPT, Umax, and Cal AI. I'm gonna be sharing my exact process with you guys during this five-part series, which is brought to you by Apex. Our mission is to produce high quality tools and content designed to improve your health, success, and purpose in life. Now, onto designing a viral app. Let's first define the objective of viral app design and explain why it's important. Viral app design seeks to minimize the friction from design to millions of users. We're gonna focus on single player utility apps, apps that solve a problem in a straightforward manner and don't require complex social interaction. The design is important because it builds off of your idea and sets the stage for building and marketing your app. The majority of the success from Umax came from the design of one single screen. The first half of this video is gonna be about principles, which should shape how you think about design. Our three core principles are, number one, minimize cognitive load. Number two, do not reinvent the wheel. And number three, think like your customer. The second half of the video is about methods, which help how you actually design your app. Our three core methods are, number one, learn Figma, number two, create an idea board, and number three, study the content. Principle number one, minimize cognitive load. Every tap, every decision, and every moment of confusion will hinder your app's growth. The less your users have to think, the more likely they are to get value out of your product. RizGPT contain two buttons, upload a screenshot and get pickup lines. Umax contained one button, scan your face. Cal.ai also contained one button, analyze your food. Your app doesn't need every feature imaginable. It just needs to get the core action done well. If it's too complicated for a five-year-old to use it, you're headed in the wrong direction. Over time, you can improve and add new functionality, but when you first launch, keep it lean. Apply the Pareto Principle. 80% of your app's functionality is gonna come from 20% of the possible feature set. Launch with the 20%. The most viral apps in history launch with one core action that users really like. For Tinder, it's swipe right to match. For TikTok, swipe up to get a new video. Minimize cognitive load and keep it simple. Principle number two, do not reinvent the wheel. The hardest part of the app design process is figuring out your initial layout. The process of iteration can be absolutely grueling, but it's good that successful apps have already figured it out for you. You don't have to figure out a novel place to put the settings button. Everybody has already decided for you that it belongs in the top right. Your users have learned dozens of apps. They've built muscle memory for where things should be and how they should work. Fighting against these expectations just creates friction. For Umax, when we came up with the six-factor rating system, we drew on inspiration from football player ratings in games like FIFA and Madden. If your app is differentiated enough in functionality, you don't need to seriously differentiate yourself in design. Save your innovation for solving the core problem. For everything else, follow standard practice. Principle number three, Think like your customer. The biggest mistake I see founders making is designing for imaginary users. With Cal AI, I had used MyFitnessPal and other calorie trackers in the past. I knew what sort of functionality people wanted instead. On the other hand, when I was building Umax, I really had no idea what looks maxing was. So I joined the Discord servers, I watched the content, and I read the forums. Turned out it was mostly just about skincare, hair care, and being healthy. This isn't just about market research. This is about becoming your customer. You'll start seeing your own app through their eyes. You stop thinking about cool features and you start thinking about the features that actually solve the problems. Once again, for Cal AI, this meant making calorie tracking simpler and faster than ever before. For Umax, this meant simple numeric ratings and recommendations on how to improve. Apps that go viral aren't designed in a vacuum. They're designed by people that understand their users on a deep, almost obsessive level. Either build for who you are today or become the person that you're building for. Method Number one, learn Figma. I often hear people talking about new design tools and AI design and Canva. I cannot emphasize this enough. Stop, learn to use Figma. Every single successful app I've seen began in Figma. If you're already familiar, become better. 
The act of designing is the most important act in transferring your ideas into something tangible. Personally, I prioritize user experience or UX over user interface or UI. What this means is that I'm not overly focused on what the corner radius is or what the gradient overlay looks like. I'm more concerned with what the key components do and how they help the user. My co-founder designed Riz GPT, so the first time I ever designed was when I was building UMAX. I taught myself how to design a functional MVP in just a number of days. Here's how I would recommend learning. First, watch a one hour basic Figma tutorial on YouTube to understand how to use the platform. Second, try redesigning an actual app's interface in Figma. The goal here isn't to become a professional designer, it's to turn your ideas into something tangible as quickly as possible. The faster you can test ideas and see what they actually look like, the faster you'll be able to iterate to a final product that you're happy with. Method number two create an idea board. This doesn't have to be some fancy mood board. This can just be a collection of screenshots from apps with similar functionality. For UMAX, once again, this was the Madden and FIFA style rating systems. This meant the upload image flow from AI avatar generators. For Cal AI, this was the homepage of every other calorie tracker. This is done to look for patterns. What works, what doesn't? What do you like and dislike? The key here is to be systematic. Draw an inspiration from onboarding, from settings, from homepages, from different flows, from everything that you can find and everything that you're gonna have in your app. This will become your reference library. Anytime you get stuck on a design for an individual component, you can reference this. One website that I like to use for this is mobbin.com. Instead of actually having to download the app and take screenshots, you can just copy and paste from Mobbin. And no, I am not sponsored. I personally still have these idea boards saved and I'll reference them on occasion just to remember what it was like when I was designing the individual app. There's a classic saying that great artists steal. Well, here it's that great designer's screenshot. Method number three, study the content. As I had mentioned with UMAX, the majority of our success was attributable to our design the design of one screen, the Madden or FIFA style rating screen. I studied content that went viral on social media and I worked backwards from there. With Riz GPT, we did something similar. We found the style of Riz slideshows that went most viral. Then we designed screens that would seamlessly integrate into this already existing content. When you've spent tens or even hundreds of hours studying the content, you'll understand what sort of designs are gonna do best. You'll understand what people want to see and how it can seamlessly integrate into social media content. I've referenced this a few times throughout this series, but it is of paramount importance. If you don't understand what you're building and who you're building it for, it will be extremely difficult to make it go viral. You should have social media accounts specifically dedicated to consuming content only in your app's niche. This content will then inform you how to actually design your product and how to design the most viral screens in it. Hopefully the content in this video will help you design your viral app. I'm making many more videos in the future, so make sure to subscribe and check out our website at apex.inc to see what we're building. If you have any questions, leave comments below. 